Hello everyone, today we will be talking about vector-borne diseases in poultry for our course, Poultry Production. Firstly, what is a vector? Vectors are organisms that can cause serious diseases when transmitting pathogens and parasites to a person or animal. In our case, it is poultry animals. Let's take a look at a few vectors that are involved in the poultry industry. We have rodents, flies, mosquitoes, lice and mites. First off, we have rodents. They are recognized as hosts for more than 60 zoonotic diseases and can be a threat to poultry animals and humans. They can spread diseases like salmonellosis, infectious coryza and avian cholibacillosis in poultry animals. I will now be explaining about salmonellosis. It is a zoonotic disease that can infect both humans and poultry. The most common strain is Salmonella gallinarum. Chicks are the most at risk. For transmissions, it is transmitted orally through consumption of contaminated food, water, and cannibalism. It is true by the respiratory tract such as sneezing and cuts. Infectious coryza is also known as snot, an infectious upper respiratory disease that affects poultry. It is caused by the avial bacterium Paragelinarum and it can cause decrease in egg production, body weight, and stunning of growth. It is transmitted primarily by direct infected bird-to-bird -bird contact or through contaminated feed. The avian cholibacillosis is caused by infection with a pathogenic strain of Escherichia coli. It can cause yolk sac infection, swollen head syndrome, and even cellulitis in poultry animals. It can be transmitted by inhaling contaminated dust or ingestion of contaminated items. Now let's talk about flies. At larval and mature stages, they are common in poultry farms, garbages, and slaughterhouses. Transmission of pathogen can happen in three ways. Pathogens stick their body parts to the legs and proboscis of the flies. Pathogens are deposited along the vomit drop onto the food. Or, pathogens are deposited in their feces after passing through the guts. An example disease that can be transmitted by flies is avian influenza. Malaysia has experienced avian influenza virus outbreaks over the past three decades. It is a viral disease which can be fatal. When a poultry animal is infected with avian influenza, the virus will produce a series of different symptoms including depression, ruffled feathers, loss of appetite, and many more. Now let's talk about mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are common vectors that transmit diseases in poultry such as West Nile disease, avian malaria, fowlpox, and Zika virus. The host will get infected through the biting of a mosquito that carries the infectious agent that causes the disease. West Nile disease is another disease that can be transmitted by infected mosquitoes to other poultry animals in the farm. The symptoms of West Nile disease include mouth flu and can cause brain damage and death. Now on to avian malaria. This disease can be transmitted by mosquitoes of several genera including the Aedes. Stagnum ponds are the breeding grounds for the mosquitoes. Susceptible birds are characterized primarily by anemia with symptoms of weakness, depression, and many more. Next is fowlpox. Fowlpox originates from mosquitoes that bite one of the infected flocks that has fowlpox. After that, it becomes a carrier and will keep the disease in its salivary glands for up to 8 weeks. When one of the chicken is infected, it can spread the fowlpox to other members of the flock. This causes drop in egg production, loss of appetite, and or weight loss. Next factor on the list would be lice or mites. Poultry lice use their chewing mouth parts to feed on dry skin scales, scab tissues, feather parts, and blood. Lice are host-specific and they only feed on a few closely related species of the animal host. Chicken mites are blood-sucking mites that most of the time feed at night. They have a wide host range which includes wild birds and domestic poultry. Newcastle disease virus is a virus that can come from mites, and it is easily spread and highly contagious among poultry. It can spread through direct contact, airborne transmission, and contaminated equipment. The symptoms of Newcastle disease include respiratory difficulties, nervous disorders, reduction in egg production, and many, many more. Now, 
let's look at the prevention towards the vector borne disease in poultry production. The first way is vector control. For the rodents and mice, we can keep the land around the pen from weeds, loose lambers, and debris. It is also better to have a high chicken pen above the ground. Keeping a pet such as a dog or cat to chase away the vector is one of the possible ways too. Next, for the vector flies, we should remove the feces of the bird as soon as possible. Cleaning up the areas after providing snacks to the birds is also very important. Fan should also be installed in the pen to promote airflow and it avoids the presence of the flies. This is because it makes them hard to fly. While for the vector mosquitoes, we should tidy the pen often, remove items that can store water, changing the drinking water of the birds often, and the most important prevention is to cover the windows of the pen with the mosquitoes' nets. All this avoids the presence of the mosquitoes. Next, for the vector mites, fleas, lice, and ticks, the dust bath for the birds is very important. Garlic powder or crushed cloth can be placed in their drinking water or their feet. This is one of the remedy to avoid the insects to be present. Other than vector control, vaccination is one of the prevention too. It prevents and controls the vector borne disease in the birds. Moreover, quarantine of the chicken that has been infected is also one of the prevention ways. This avoids the disease to be spread to another bird. To sum up, the vector-borne disease are the disease that can be transmitted through many different vectors and can be spread easily to the poultry and humans since it can be zoonotic. The vector will carry many different types of pathogen which can cause disease in the poultry production. There are many ways to prevent and treat the disease if the chickens are being infected. The breeders also plays an important role in preventing the disease in the birds. Workers must practice the biosecurity in the compound of the pen. This will allow the higher rate of production and low rate of mortality. That is all from us. Thank you so much for lending your ears. Don't forget to like, comment and share our video.